hello, hello. Welcome to prompt number 93. Let's just get into it because I don't know what else to say. Let's see. We've got, oh, ghost and hot air balloon. Oh man, ghost is just a few weeks late from Halloween. All right, here we go. Also, can I just say when I saw hot air balloon, it reminded me of my Huevember 2017 video where I kept calling a hot air balloon, hot balloon. <laughs> I will never forget that, nor will the comments let me. Okay, so I was feeling really uninspired. I think maybe Huevember following Inktober immediately has kind of put me in a burnout, sort of. I don't know, I think I'm just spreading myself way too thin, but I'm just going to say the one thing, the one negative thing in this video. Yes, I went too simple. Yes, I kind of feel like I copped out. I think you'll agree this time. And I'm going to try not to say anything negative throughout the whole video, okay? I promise that's going to be it. <coughs> maybe. Okay, so anyways, as you can see from the sketches, I basically drew the same thing over and over. I don't know, I just, hot air balloon? I don't know. I drew a hot air balloon, I drew a ghost as the balloon, I drew a skull as the balloon and they're going through hell. <laughs> There's volcanoes and lava and, and suffering. And then I just drew a bunch of ghosts cause oh my goodness, didn't know what to do. I did think about drawing a more realistic ghost as in a person that was see-through, I suppose. But I'm in love with my really simple ghosts. And then there was something that I had recently purchased. So with all of this paper crafting obsession lately, I really want to get into buying more things that could go into my paper crafting. So I went to a local art store and bought some vellum, which is this sort of see-through-y white paper. I thought it would be really fun to use as clouds or smoke or fog or just something. I could use it as windows. I could use it as props. Basically, I had this see-through material and I thought it would be perfect for my cute little ghosts. I also wanted to do a paper cutout Posca pen illustration because I haven't done one yet. Because my Posca pen illustrations are more on the simple side, I thought they would be perfect for my paper cutout illustrations. But then things just got really super simple. And I think there's a point with some art where the art can be so simple. I just think it's so perfect and so nice but I do think it needs something to be the main attraction. When it comes to really simple artwork, I think there's always a really good idea, maybe something clever, a joke, or it's just so dang cute, or it's just so dang lovable that the simple art style or illustration or whatever it is just works out so perfectly. And it looks okay because it's really simple, but you can forgive that because the idea isn't simple. That didn't quite work out for me. I was hoping I could pull that off with my Posca illustration but then things weren't turning out like I wanted them and then yada yada yada. This isn't me being negative. I'm just being honest about my thoughts and my process. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm fine with it. So my idea for this illustration was that it was going to be this night sky and I was going to have these white clouds on top. I think the boldness of the Posca illustration colors really help this illustration even be as successful as it is. That's what I love playing around with with Posca. It's just so bold and things pop and I love that. So after I did the night sky and I put those stars in, which I thought it was already looking pretty dang cute. When I put the clouds on, it just looked so cool. The clouds were just so crisp and round and the way that they stacked on top of each other to create that depth and even a little bit of shadow with the clouds. It just looks so cool. And honestly, I could have just left it like that and just had this cute little sky. But we had ghosts and a hot air balloon to put into this illustration. So then I got to work with the hot air balloon. And if you saw the sketch earlier on, I had a much bigger hot air balloon. It was originally going to be filling up pretty much the whole image and I was going to have a couple of people in it, maybe. Though then I started toying around with putting a face on the hot air balloon and I just wasn't liking it. I even cut out and pasted together the entirety of the hot air balloon, put it on the page and I thought, this looks like garbage. So if you want to see that, you'll have to be a patron. So what I ended up going with, because I liked the background and the clouds and the night sky so much, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make the smallest little hot air balloon and stick it in the corner. And although it kind of is a cop out and it's kind of sad and just the smallest part of this illustration, the dang hot air balloon is still there. The ghosts are there. I don't know. Positivity, positivity. 
So after the hot air balloon was done and in the sky, it was time to start working on those cute little ghosties, which I was actually really excited about. I just wanted to put a bunch of little ghosts in there and have them see through and just see how it went because I haven't played around with this material to do any sort of see-through aspect of my cutout illustrations yet. I also know my ghosts look like two things, booze from the Mario series and sperm. I know, I know, I know, it's fine. I think they're simple and cute, it's whatever. They're just, vessels for my faces. This material was really easy to work with. I think the only thing is that once it wrinkled just a little bit, you could really see the wrinkle. And I guess because it is a paper, it wrinkles easy and it retains those wrinkles. So that was a really terrifying thing to have to deal with. I have to store this paper so carefully somewhere where nothing will touch it because I don't want it wrinkled. Once my little ghosties were cut out, I started to glue them on and I didn't really know how to attach a clear material like this because the glue and where it attaches to the paper, you can see where it touches and I don't know how to avoid that. So that's just how that is. I could do more like the ghost wrapping around the page so you can't really see that he's glued on the back of it, but whatever. So that was finished and at this point I was, I was happy with it because it was really simple and cute. But I've always got in the back of my mind that I feel like something's a cop out when it comes to this 500 prompt series. I don't know why I feel like I have to do something super epic every time, but I do. I mean, I do want to push myself, but like I said, I think with two month challenges back to back, I've just been kind of feeling a little burnt out. So I decided to do a illustration that was sort of a part one to the night sky. And honestly, this one went from, I'm going to rescue this by doing a two part and it's gonna look cute to, wow, this looks worse. This is even more of a cop out than the other one. I was going to have these ghosts, uh, I don't know, like a giant ghost barfing up a bunch of baby ghosts. I think the idea behind this two set illustration is that the sun is setting in this one so that the ghosts are popping out of the clouds. They're coming out to play. And in the blue one, it's night already. So all of the ghosts are out and about as they do at night. Oh, that reminds me. I also had a sort of story with this. With there being a hot air balloon in the middle of night, I wanted to say that, you know how there's whale watching where people go on a boat and they go out to the ocean as you do on a boat and they watch whales or they look for whales and wait to see if they can see them? I am saying that people go into hot air balloons at night and they go ghost watching since ghosts come out at night and you have to go above the clouds to see the ghosts because that's where they hang out in my world for some reason. So this is ghost watching on a hot air balloon. I think that's pretty cute. Anyways, so like I said, the sun is setting in this one and the ghosts are coming out to play. And I had cut out two different giant ghosts barfing up these little ghosts and I just hated the way it looked. It just looks so forced. It looks like I'm just shoving this into the page. I just didn't like it. So I said, okay, I guess I'm just going to take three little ghosts and stick them poking out of the clouds like little groundhogs or something. Hey, look, the sun's going down. It's time to play. And yeah, uh, very simple couple of illustrations. I don't know. I've always got this guilt in my mind about this series. I think it's cute. I would definitely hang these on my wall because they're just, they're simple, they're cute. Just a pop of color to go on your white wall. And yep, there's that prompt. Do to do. Here's my positivity. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the end card. Yahoo! It's -a me, Grandma Golden. <laughs>